If you enjoyed your linear algebra class, you'll probably like these next few slides. If you didn't like it so much, then uh, maybe not so much so. But here are matrices and the bivariate normal distribution. Everything we have done associated with the bivariate normal distribution can be set in a matrix setting. Now there's a good reason for putting this in a matrix setting because eventually this bivariate normal distribution is going to generate to a multivariate normal distribution and if we didn't have linear algebra that is some matrix theory behind it the expressions would get very very long but they can be expressed compactly in matrix form. First thing that's going to happen is the usual x and y that we use for the bivariate normal random variables is going to be converted to x1 and x2. And the reason for that is this is eventually going to be uh, taken out of the world of bivariate um, and up to multivariate. So there will be a random 2 by 1 column vector x and its mean. So boldface x will be the bivariate random variables x1 and x2, but now set in a 2 by 1 column matrix. And the, uh, the, the means, mu sub x1 and mu sub x2, will also be set in a 2 by 1 column vector. Now that takes care of two of the five parameters in the bivariate normal distribution. There is also a positive semi-definite 2 by 2 variance covariance matrix and that will be given by sigma and in the upper left hand corner will be the variance of x1 that's the third of the parameters. In the lower right you will have the variance of x2 that's the fourth of the parameters and then you can see the last parameter row slips in to the off diagonal elements which are the covariance of x1, x2. Now this means that the joint PDF can be written using all these matrices as the reciprocal of 2 pi times the square root of the determinant of the variance covariance matrix. Notice that the determinant of a matrix is a 1 by 1 so this term right here is a 1 by 1 as it should be multiplied by e to the minus one half x minus mu prime. Well the prime denotes transpose so this vector right here because of the transpose will be a one by two vector. That gets multiplied by the inverse of the variance covariance matrix. Well the variance covariance matrix is a two by two for the bivariate normal so that will be a two by two matrix and x minus mu will be a 2 by 1. So when you take a 1 by 2 times a 2 by 2 times a 2 by 1, you wind up with a 1 by 1, and that's exactly what you expect here for the bivariate normal probability density function defined on R2. So on the next page, you'll see some of the spin-offs of this notation. And first of all, in the univariate case, we would write x is distributed as a normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma squared. How does that generalize? Well, the bivariate normal shorthand will look like this. x, and this is boldface x, the 2 by 1 vector, has the bivariate normal distribution with parameter mu, that is the vector of means, and variance covariance matrix sigma. So here is the generalization from one dimension down to two dimensions. Now a second thing we would do in the univariate case is we would transform an x which had a normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma squared to a z which was standard normal by standardizing x minus mu divided by sigma. Well, one other thing you can do in the univariate case is if you instead want to go from a standard normal to a general normal random variable, all you need to do is solve this equation for x. And when you do, x equals mu plus sigma z can be used to go from a standard normal to a general normal. 
The question here, is there an equivalent transformation for the bivariate normal distribution? If there is, then that can be used to generate random variates because this in one dimension can be used to generate a random variate x having the normal distribution by simply taking a standard normal, multiplying it by its standard deviation sigma, and adding mu. So the next slide will be a search for an equivalent transformation in the bivariate normal case. The variance covariance matrix sigma can always be written as sigma is equal to gamma prime times lambda times gamma, where lambda is a diagonal matrix with the eigenvalues of the variance covariance matrix in decreasing order of magnitude on the diagonal and gamma prime has the associated normalized eigenvectors of the variance covariance matrix sigma as columns. So if we then define the matrix sigma to the one half power as gamma prime times lambda to the one half power where lambda the one half power is the diagonal matrix of the square roots of the eigenvalues in decreasing order of magnitude and those are the eigenvalues of course of the variance covariance matrix and that gets multiplied by gamma that matrix right there does the trick in terms of generalizing the result at the bottom of the previous page that is the bivariate normal random vector x can be written as mu which is a 2 by 1 matrix of the mean values plus this sigma to the 1 half that's playing the role of sigma in one dimension times z where z is a bunch of bivariate normal bivariate standard normal and that's written as normal with a mean of 0 and a variance covariance matrix i and if you do that you will get a bivariate normal random variable x all written in matrix form.